everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Venetia Alexander Marshall and welcome. If you are new here, hi, how are you? Don't forget, hit the subscribe button at the bottom and make sure you're clicking the notification bell so every time I'm uploading a new video, you are notified. First of all, thank you so much. If you have been watching some of the vlogs, thank you so much. I know I'm kind of sporadic with a lot of the videos um, for you guys to bring on my channel. It has been busy. Um, I have a lot of things I need to catch up on you guys on. Um, my last vlog, I had just finished editing. And by the time this video goes up, that vlog is going to go up, which is my son's return to the basketball court. So if you have not caught that vlog, I will put it in the cards above. So look for it somewhere up here. It'll be in the cards above. Since that vlog, when I tell you, life has been lifing. Life has been lifing so bad. It's like really right now what's going on with us in this house when I tell you things has literally gone upside down, back the right side up, and now it's back upside down again, that's what's going on with the upside down, right side up. When I tell you, yes, it's either going to be another vlog I'm going to do. I might do a chit chat, get ready with me to catch you guys up on what happened from that last vlog with my son returning to the basketball court. And I'll tell you about my son and his trip, his last AAU game. I'm gonna tell y'all all about that. Might end up being a chit chat, get ready with me. It's probably what's gonna end up being. But today I have some makeup I need to bring for you guys. I am behind on my makeup reviews, makeup looks, us playing with makeup. So the makeup I have today, majority, I wanna say the vast majority of it is drugstore makeup. I do have a couple of high end products I will be trying out for you guys. Well, I shouldn't be to say trying out. I've been trying it out a couple of times. I have some thoughts on it. So come on. Come on in, come on in. Let's go ahead and let's play with a little drugstore, a little high-end makeup. As always, I do have my handy dandy mirror with me. Let's go ahead and let's get started with primer. Primer is new, it's been talked about so much on YouTube. I've been had it. I'm just now trying it out. And I'm gonna say I did bring the primer with me recently when my husband and I went to our trip to Las Vegas. I did bring this primer with me and I have some thoughts on it. So for a primer, you know, it is hot outside. It is so hot. And let me tell you, it was cooking in Las Vegas, but this really came in handy. Um, this is from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Woe Glow Sun Touchable um, SPF 30 um, Face Primer. I know a lot of you guys have been talking about this. I know they have since have another one and they have the spray. I'm not going to try the spray out. I don't think I really want to, but I will say about this product, I really do like this product. Um, I, I'm going to tell you what I did and what my husband did. We ended up using this stuff as just regular sunscreen. And I'm going to tell you, if you have not tried this out, it does have the sunscreen white cast, but it worked how we put it on our bodies all over that's what we did in las vegas and it actually worked and i did use this as a face primer like what it's supposed to and as you can see we've, it's been used been nicely used i do like the well glow it does give a healthy amount of glow but also it really does protect you from the sun and when we were in las vegas that first full day in Vegas it was 112 degrees that day in Las Vegas and here in uh, Baton Rouge the, the humidity is gonna get you out here because it, it it is hotter than hell out here I told my daughter earlier it's hotter than hell it's so it is just hot everywhere you go it's just so hot so this woe glow from elf it really, really did work. I actually used this Woe Glow the first time on, actually on the 4th of July, when um, I did a super simple makeup look, uh, and I bought it for my other channel. And when I tell you it worked, and it, even on 4th of July, it was hot. It was so hot, but I really did like the finish. It gave a nice, healthy amount of glow. Um, my makeup, didn't slip off or anything like that. I didn't notice it or anything like that when I did come home. And I had a light layering of makeup on 4th of July. And it did just fine. I had absolutely no problems with the makeup. And 
dish primer is really, really good. So in, I would suggest in this heat, use an SPF. And this does has F, SPF 30 in it and it is really, really good. Definitely good for the hot sun. Um, is it a favorite of mine? I would say yes, it is a favorite. It does not, it didn't leave me greasy. No, certain things, particularly those with SPF or if you are using an actual SPF, you know, SPF leaves this white cast and it leaves you extremely greasy. I may have that really slick look. This one wasn't that bad. It, um, something that I can deal with. Um, I do have dry skin, but I don't like looking extra greasy with my dry skin but it does give you a healthy glow as you can see and you can blend it in really really good um there isn't much of a white cast it blended in really really good into my skin um it's just a little bit up here i didn't blend in so i got a little bit of a white cast up here and it's but i didn't blend it in that great I'm not gonna too much worry about it, but I did like it for my skin. I did like it. I wanna say, I wore it every day. Um, the only day I didn't wear it was on the last day, on the day that we left. Um, we didn't go outside or anything left with the exception of getting a cab and heading to the airport. That was about it. But I really do like this Woe Glow. I see why y'all like this stuff this stuff is really really good i really did like it next is foundation foundation y'all have also talked about this i wasn't sure if i was going to get the foundation because i know there were some issues with the brand but it seems like y'all are still getting things from this brand so i decided to get their newest foundation that people have been talking about so the brand i'm talking about this is from revlon this is the revlon illuminates um this is their skin caring foundation here it is. This is what I have. I was a little scared to get it, but I went ahead and got it. I want to say this foundation is like $17.99 or something like that. I don't know what shade I have. I think this is the shade back here. I'm not sure, y'all. I don't really know what the shade I have. I really don't know what shade I have. I tried to get one that was as close to my skin. Is this it? 513. Hello is on the bottle. Shade number 513 is what I have. When I put this on, when I did put this on, it is glowy. It's definitely give you an illuminance uh, finish. Ooh, it's tripping. It looked, when I first put it on, does look like it's a little dark for me. And I'm going to be honest with you, it's not. This is more of a neutral shade i'm not gonna do too too much i'm not gonna put too much on however i was a little worried at first because i thought oh this is too light i thought it was too light because you know over the years with drugstore foundations drugstore foundations didn't really come you know as deep as my skin tone all them years ago which is a lot of times i didn't why, why i didn't wear foundation but as i blended it out this is from what i'm gathering this is a this looks like a neutral undertone this does look neutral i want to say it looked like it left me a little gray i want to say that it definitely has like that foundation smell does have that but i'm going to say this about the foundation it's not a bad foundation guys it's really really not i was a little impressed with it yeah it is maybe i need another shade but i don't want to go too dark it does look like it's leaving me a hair gray but it also could be the light, the ring light. But I want to say this wore pretty well. Um, I did wear it at work, and it wore it wore pretty well. I didn't have any complaints about the foundation. It is an illuminating foundation, and then I'm wearing this illuminating foundation with this Woe Glow primer from elf so i got twice the amount of glow going on but i'm going to say this about the foundation again i'm not disappointed with this foundation at 
all see yeah it's blending it might look a little gray to you guys on the camera but when i'm looking at it up close this is almost almost a match a, a dead ringer it's a very very good match so i'm not disappointed with this foundation do i see myself picking up this foundation i will say yes i can see myself picking up this foundation a few times so i could definitely say that i will pick this foundation up a few times this is a very good foundation i was a little worried because it was number one revlon um and you know they're not all that great with shade ranges for us ladies of color but with this foundation, I am very, very, very impressed with the foundation. I really do like the foundation. It is long lasting. And if you're a person like me that does have dry skin, you're going to like this foundation. Um, it is not overly oily or anything like that. And this does leave a very, very good finish. So I definitely was not disappointed with the foundation. I really was not disappointed with the foundation. It does oxidize slightly, but not to where you're a totally different shade. Um, so again, was not disappointed with the foundation. I can see myself wearing this foundation quite a bit. So I am very, very impressed with the Revlon Illuminance um, foundation. This is a very good foundation. So I would recommend this foundation. This is a very good foundation. Next is concealer. The concealer, all right, let me tell you about the concealer. The concealer is not new to me. I have a different shade of this concealer. I picked this concealer up initially from this brand. I want to say when it first came out about four or five years ago. That's when I got the, the concealer. It's way too light. I since decluttered the original one because it was so old and it was definitely not my shade, but I hadn't picked it up in so long and I knew it was very well expired. So I decided to pick up this concealer again, but I got a darker shade and it works just fine. Um, what concealer am I talking about? We are sticking with drugstore concealer. I am talking about the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Wear Concealer. Um, if you saw my declutter video a long while back when I did my declutter video of my makeup, I did declutter this concealer. It was, and as you remember, it was much lighter. So now I have a darker shade. This is more of like the same shade I have from the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo um, Concealer, which I need to pick up another one because I'm almost out of that concealer. I liked the concealer better than the foundation. The um, Infallible Foundation from L'Oreal, a lot of people like that foundation, but the one thing people was not talking about with that foundation is it has a strong perfume smell. And anything with a perfume smell in it, it breaks me out. It really irritates my skin. The concealer does not have that perfume smell. I really did like the concealer better than the foundation. So this is not really a new concealer for me. This is just, just a different shade. So I am going to go in with the concealer. Um, if you remember the concealer, um, if you haven't worn it in a while, um, this concealer is a full coverage concealer. As you can see, this is very full coverage, which was why that lighter shade that I had it was just not working it was way too light i don't know what shade number i have oh right here 415 is what i have that is the shade i picked at this time i want to say the last shade i picked up was in a three something it's in the threes definitely was not my shade um but i did since declutter that one got that one i have actually been wearing that concealer quite a bit and i'm back falling in love with that concealer all over again from what i remember um first time i got it all those years ago and this is a very very good drugstore um concealer so i am going to go ahead i'm going to blend that in and as you can see look how full coverage that is yep still the same <laughs> all right i don't have any new setting powders so i am going to go in with both setting powders um from maybelline this is the what is this this is the maybelline okay this is their regular um shine free 
uh, setting powder in medium O2. That's what I have here. And for the second uh, setting powder, this is the Maybelline Fit Me. This is the deep shade. I want to say this is deep um, 35. So I am going to go in with both of these. All right, I want you to see this. This is after I have both setting powders on my face. That glow from the um, e.l.f. Um, Sun Touchable Primer and the foundation from Revlon, it is giving a awesome, healthy amount of glow. It's not overpowering. It is really, really subtle. And the setting powders really, really make it work. It really does. That's why I really do like that primer and the um, foundation together. I really do like that. Next is bronzer. Bronzer is new. This is new. Y'all was talking about this primer? Primer. Y'all was talking about this bronzer? And not only the bronzer, but also the blush. All the bronzer and blush are new. Y'all said this was good. And y'all said pick this up. Every YouTuber said, oh, this is good. This is good. You need to try this out. And this is a very popular brand. And, of course, affordable. So, we are staying in the affordable range. What am I talking about? I am talking about the new um, bronzer and blushes from of all brands. ColourPop. So, yes, ColourPop came out with some bronzer and blush. I did get two of the blushes. I did get the bronzer. We're going to start with the bronzer first. The shade I have is Pacific Beach. Let me tell you all about this bronzer. And if you know me, I use this bronzer more for all over the face. This bronzer is pigmented. You need a little bit of this bronzer. So it is looking more of a reddish undertone for me. But this, believe it or not, because red undertone, warm undertone, they don't work for me. I'm more neutral, golden. I'm neutral with a golden undertone. That's me. Neutral, golden. Some neutral cools I can get away with. The cool tones are more, they're more orangey, which goes more towards the warm. And I have to be very, very careful with that. I'm neutral golden because there's certain spots in my face are more yellow and it works better. But this bronzer is pigmented. So I buff this into my skin you just need a little and i'm already getting color i really do like this again oops just if i had to put too much i thought this was going to be too red on my face because again you see what it looked like it's looked more red it's actually fine it actually fine i do like right here just a few minutes ago i did put a little bit too much and it is making this i'm just buffing it in up here a little bit and it's blending just fine you see it's really really getting red i'm just going to do just a slight dusting down the bridge of my nose this is a very this is very good for uh contour very 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 good for contour again if you know me you've been following me for a long time i use bronzer more for all over particularly if it's a foundation that is too light then the bronzer really does work and it balances me out but because the foundation it's a great match it's making me look a little darker that's why with this i have to be extremely careful with this bronzer from ColourPop. This is extremely pigmented. And as you can see, I am a little red because I did go a little ham with the with the bronzer. This is so good. This is so good. You will not be disappointed. And it's affordable. I don't think I paid much for this at all. I don't I forgot how much I paid for it, but it's not expensive at all. This is extremely pigmented same with the blushes the only blush i've had been wearing is this one this um this more coral blush this is the shade papaya that is the shade i have been wearing papaya again just like the bronzer the blush pigmented very very pigmented you just need a little bit of this a little bit goes a long way but since i still have this in the packaging i have not um worn it yet i'm going to take it out the packaging i'm going to wear this um today does remind me of that one from um juvia's place that everybody has been talking about um 
I did finally pick up that blush. Finally picked up that blush. So I'm going to bring it to you in a future video. So this shade here that I have is called Prairie Air. That is the shade that I have. This is this bubblegum pink that everybody's wearing. Of course, pink dealing with, you know, the Barbie movie just came out. And everybody's talking about Barbie. So this is a very pink blush. Very, very pink. So this is going to be my first time wearing this blush. So let me see what this blush look like on me. looking a little I ain't showing up on my skin it's a little subtle oh it's a very oh there it is I have to build this shade up to get some kind of color yeah I kind of have to build this up to get color oh there it is okay okay it is subtle very, very subtle pink on my face is a very subtle pink. Um, between the two shades, I would prefer this one over this one. I would because this one is more corally and this one complements my more melanated skin a little bit more than this one. I know some they do like this one, but I'm gunning more for this one. This one is better. I mean, it's giving color. To me personally, it's giving subtle. It is powdery, but it is giving a subtle blush color. So it's not bad. I just prefer the other shade better. I do. I prefer the other one better. All right, next I'm actually going to do an eye primer um, or eyeshadow base. This eyeshadow base is new to me. I've, again, heard so many people talk about how good this eyeshadow base is. So I recently picked it up at um, Sephora when I went out of town. I'm going to say this was a while back. I picked this up. This is from Dominique Cosmetics. This is the Dominique Cosmetics Everlasting Eye Base. I decided to pick it up because I wanted to see what it was all about. And I'm just going to tell y'all, flat out, this is very pigmented. It has this little pointer. So you just need a drop of this. So I just put it, ooh, I already squeezed some out. I squeezed too much out. Yeah, I already squeezed out way too much. So I'm just going to take my brush and blend and as you can see, I definitely went ham. I definitely went ham. Look at this. All right, I'm gonna have to fix this because I definitely did way too much. All right, as y'all can see, I messed up my makeup with that eyeshadow base. It got on my waterline. So I'm going to try and camouflage my waterline with my eyeliner. I'm not an eyeliner fan, but I decided to go ahead and just whip out um, my eyeliner. So I got eyeliner. So let's go ahead. We're going we're gonna to keep it moving. For eyeshadow, the eyeshadow is new. <laughs> I have to laugh because I messed up. But the eyeshadow base, you can tell that eyeshadow base, it is super full coverage and you need a dot. When I did this with the eyeshadow base the last time, I did the perfect amount. This time, I think I was already squeezing, didn't realize I was squeezing. So as you can see, it is very, very full coverage. But for eyeshadow, um, the eyeshadow is new um, to me. This is from Ciate London. Uh, this is their eyeshadow palette. What is the name of this palette? It's like a berry eyeshadow. Yeah, no, I don't have my glasses. But this is the eyeshadow palette. I got this in my Ipsy a few months ago. And this is the name of the uh, eyeshadow palette, if you can see it. Um, this is a very pigmented eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. Um, this um, little pan does remind me of the little um, Obsession eyeshadow palettes from Huda Beauty. But this is what the um, eyeshadow palette looks like. This is a very pigmented eyeshadow palette. Um, I went with my basic colors. I did. And I'm probably going to go with my basic colors again today. Um, so on my crease, I am 
going to put um, this brown shade. I'm going to put that in my crease. And as you can see, this eyeshadow, it is pigmented and the eyeshadow base does help. Um, the eyeshadow base can be used definitely for cut creases. But you see, it's that eyeshadow base. Yes, indeed. All right. And next for my lid, let's go with this gold shade right above that. I'm going to put that shade on my lid. Ooh, yes. Look at that color. This is very pretty. This is a very pretty shimmer color. Very pretty. All right, so this is the eyeshadow. It is a great eyeshadow palette. It is a very good, very pigmented eyeshadow palette. However, I have a very similar eyeshadow palette just like this. Um, don't think I would wear this eyeshadow palette a whole lot for the simple fact that I already have eyeshadow palettes, a couple of eyeshadow palettes that look similar to this. Um, but I would put this in my everyday stack. Do I see myself picking it up a lot? No. Um, but I would put it in my everyday stack. But it is a very pigmented um, eyeshadow palette. You would not be disappointed with the eyeshadow palette. Um, for setting spray, the setting spray is not new. This is the e.l.f. Stay All Day um, Blue Light Setting Spray. So I am going to go in and put this all over my face. And I'm going to try and camouflage this with some eyeliner. Alright, I did put um, eye, eyeliner on the bottom. I was going to put I, I was gonna put this eyeliner from Wet n Wild on the top, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I think I camouflaged it okay. Not a whole lot. I'm not big on eyeliner because number one my vision is not the best with eyeliner and number two i had a bad experience with eyeliner that is why you don't see me do anything with eyeliner my vision is horrible and i know i can poke myself in eye with eyeliner but now i got this eyeliner on this eyeliner is not that bad i'm just not into eyeliner like that but i'm just trying to camouflage what i did and that eyeshadow base, it is definitely irritating my eyes. And it was irritating me before I put the eyeliner on. So I know that eyeshadow base, mm, I, I don't think I'm going to wear that eyeshadow base. I have my favorite eyeshadow base, and that eyeshadow base is from uh, Milk Makeup. I really do love the eyeshadow base. And I was in Sephora today, and I didn't pick up another one because I'm almost out of that one from Milk Makeup. And it literally locks your eyeshadow in place. I really do like that one from Milk Makeup. Um, so yeah, I had to camouflage that and it's okay. The eyeliner I use, this is the, um, I like this eyeliner because it is very, very soft. It's not rough on my eyes. This is from LA Girl. This is their Shockwave Neon Eyeliner. This is the black. Um, this is a very good, very soft eyeliner. Very good for a person like me that has very bad vision and I don't wear eyeliner like talking about. So yeah, it, it did just fine. Next is mascara. Let's talk about this mascara, Lord. Let's talk about this mascara. The first mascara our girl came out with. Loved it. A lot of people didn't like that mascara. A lot of people didn't like it. I did. And I got another one of it. Um, so she came out with a new mascara. So who am I talking about? This is the new mascara from Fenty Beauty. So yeah, I do have the other one. So now I have this one. And let me tell y'all about this mascara. If you know me, I'm not a false lash girl. I do not wear false lashes. And you ain't gonna get me to wear no false lashes. Even though I do sell them from Van Cosmetics, I get other people to test out the lashes. This is the brush very thin brush this brush works on my bottom lashes i have all the top lashes in the world i have very baby lashes at the bottom and as you can see it is grabbing my lashes look at the volume look at the volume on this mascara Look at the volume. Look at the volume on that. 
You can't tell me nothing about this mascara. And it's grabbing my little baby lashes. Ooh, I can probably get away with a smoky eye with this eyeliner. I probably could, but like I said, I'm not into eyeliner like talking about. It. I'm only doing this to camouflage down here what happened. But I love this mascara. This mascara from Fenty. I love this. Again, if you're like me, you're not into false lashes and you're looking for a very good volumizing mascara, this one from Fenty Beauty is going to give it to you. Now, last is lip. I know this is a little bit of a struggle bus today, but the last thing is the lip. The lip is new. Yeah, I talked about this, so, you know, I had to go grab it. This is the liquid lipstick from Makeup by Mario. I did pick this up when we were in, I want to say, in Chicago. I picked this up in Chicago. That's probably where I got some of this stuff from, from Chicago. Um, no. This is where I picked this up at, is in Chicago. Um, but this is, I don't know the shade, because again, I don't have my eyeglasses on. This is the name of the shade. Here it is. This is what I'm going to put on. This is the perfect, I see this as the perfect 90s um, brown liquid lipstick color. Because um, I am a person uh, that graduated from high school in the 90s. So yes, I'm telling my age. My birthday is next month. But this, I remember I had a similar color like this when I was a freshman in college. I remember this. And I thought this was going to dry my lips out. It didn't. But I had a lipstick color that was so similar to this. Um, back in the 90s when I was a freshman in college. I want to say this was either in 94 or 95. And I wore a similar liquid. Well, they didn't have liquid lipsticks. It was just satin lipsticks back then. I had a lipstick color very similar. And I want to say it was either from Maybelline. Because Maybelline was that girl for me. But I only wore lip products because they have foundation shades my color back then. Um, I want to say it was Maybelline. It was a Maybelline lipstick. And I wore the snot out of this lipstick. Or was it Avon? It was either Maybelline or Avon. It was one of them too. But I... This liquid lipstick, it is very, very comfortable. It's not drying or anything like that. I really do like this. Now, I did top it with a lip gloss. I'm not going to do it today. Um, but this is so good. If you have not picked this up from uh, Makeup by Mario or I got it from Sephora, you need to pick this up. This is very, very good. And it definitely reminds me of that 90s um, lipstick shade I had when I was in college and I am loving this liquid lipstick from Makeup by Mario. So let's go back through this struggle bus here because <laughs> this was a struggle bus. So again, this liquid lipstick from Makeup by Mario, this is 100% going into my everyday stack. I absolutely love this liquid lipstick. Definitely bringing me back to the 90s uh, when I was in college. And I absolutely love this liquid lipstick. Love the shade. It is very comfortable. It does not. It is, does not dry your lips out or anything like that. It's still leaving your lips very, very juicy, and it's very, very comfortable. So that is 100% going into my everyday stack. The Fenty Beauty Mascara, the new one, favorite 2023. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I'm telling you, volume, volume, volume on top of volume, on top of volume, on top of volume. You're going to love this mascara. So this uh, mascara from Fenty Beauty, this is a favorite of 2023. The eyeshadow base from Dominique Cosmetics. Um, this is going to be a no. This is going to be a makeup no-no for me. I'm wearing it. Yeah, you have to be extremely careful with this eyeshadow primer this eyeshadow base from Dominique Cosmetics you know what I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my maybe set I'm gonna try it again because um, 
I feel it itching my eyes, and it was itching my eyes when I got it in my eyes by mistake. I'm gonna try it again, so I am gonna go ahead, I'm gonna move this into my maybe stack. I'm gonna give it another shot, because it was user error. So I'm not gonna say make them no-no, I'm gonna say maybe stack. So I will put this into my maybe stack. The eyeshadow palette from Ciate London. I will put it in my everyday stack. Do I see myself wearing this eyeshadow palette? Not really, because I have similar eyeshadow palettes. I'm gonna say I have an eyeshadow palette from Huda Beauty that's like this. So it's a very beautiful, very pigmented, very berry-like. You get a lot of, um, you got some neutral colors, you know, you got your pinks and you got your burgundies and so forth. This is a good eyeshadow palette, but because I have similar ones, I don't really see myself picking this up. I mean, it's a very good, very pigmented eyeshadow palette. I'll move it into my everyday stack. I just don't see myself picking this eyeshadow palette that much. Let's talk ColourPop. Let's talk ColourPop. These blushes and this bronzer. This bronzer is awesome. This is awesome. This is a favorite of 2023. I love this bronzer. The blushes. Both of these blushes are very, very good. This is more of a subtle pink for me on my um, skin. This is the one I would gravitate to more so. Not going to call the blushes a favorite, but I will put these in my everyday stack. But this bronzer, this is definitely a favorite of 2023. The Revlon uh, Illuminate Foundation. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. You won't be disappointed with it. It is a hydrating foundation. And in this hot baking sun, you're going to need something like this. It's um, very illuminating, but not making you look greasy. It is comfortable. It's not going to make you look cakey. This is a very good long wearing foundation. So this foundation from Revlon is definitely going into my everyday stack. Last but not least, the um, ELF Sun Touchable Woe Glow um, SPF 30 Primer. This, again, is going into my everyday stack. I really do like this primer. It does not make me look overly greasy like a lot of primers with SPF 30. Makes you look greasy and leave that white cast. It has the white cast, but this is a white cast you can blend into your skin, and it doesn't leave it behind so this um primer from elf is definitely going into my everyday stack glad we got through this makeup look <laughs> so i am going to bring you some more makeup reviews i'm you know i have been getting a lot of makeup and i finally need to go ahead and just wear this and test this out and bring it for you guys as well as bring other makeup looks to my other channel so again thank you guys so much for watching this channel as well as the other channel i will i will link my other channel in the bottom of the description box so you can see me do makeup looks over music so with that being said this is venetia alexander marshall i hope you have a great day take care bye bye